In this video, I'm going to be finding the range of y equals x squared plus x take away 5 over x squared plus x without using calculus. So we've seen that what we do is we're going to put this equal to k. I'm going to multiply it by the denominator. So x squared plus x take away 5 is equal to kx squared plus kx. Then I'm going to move everything onto the right-hand side. So 0 is equal to, take the x squared from both sides, we're going to have uh, k take away 1 x squared. Uh, then we've got the kx take away x, so plus k minus 1 x, and add the 5 to both sides. So in order for this curve to intersect y equals k, I'm going to need the discriminant of this quadratic to be greater than or equal to 0. So that implies that we're going to have k minus 1 squared take away 4 lots of k minus 1 times 5 is greater than or equal to 0. Now what we can do here is rather than expanding brackets out, I can factor the k minus 1 out of a single bracket already because it's common to both terms. And I'd have k minus 1 take away 4 times 5, so take away 20 is greater than or equal to 0. So k minus 1, k minus 21 is greater than or equal to 0. Do a quick little parabola. So this is 1 and 21. So that means that where is the parabola above or equal to 0? Well, that would be there and there. So when k is less than or equal to 1, or k is greater than or equal to 21. OK? Now, if you've watched the previous two videos on this, you'll know that we need to be careful because we need to look and see about this coefficient of x squared. Okay? When k equals 1, we no longer have a quadratic, and so this discriminant method won't work. Now, k equals 1 is actually on our boundary here. Okay? So... The discriminant method is saying that these are the solutions. But when k equals 1, if I substitute that into my uh, quadratic, I get 0 is equal to 0 plus 0 plus 5. And clearly, 0 is not equal to 5, right? So we get an inconsistency. So when k is equal to 1, actually, the curve and the line do not intersect. So this isn't quite right. Um, what the range, range should be, actually, is y is less than 1 or y is greater than or equal to 21. We can't include the 1. So you've got to be a little bit careful with this. So that is my range. In set notation, y belongs to the real numbers such that y is less than, also less than 1. Union, uh, y belongs to the real numbers such that y is greater than or equal to 21. And in interval notation, y belongs to, so minus infinity up to 1 in curved brackets because we're not including them. Union, square bracket, 21, comma, infinity curve bracket. OK, and so that is how we can find the range for this function.